John here, guys, and today we're talking about this WPL Little Minivan Drift RC car. This thing is super realistic, comes with a ton of little accessories, like the little windshield wipers that you attach, the actual light-up headlights, which if you're not connected to the radio, actually go into emergency light mode. When you do turn the radio on, the lights actually go solid. So very cool. Look at this thing, man. Uh, it has a little 2.4 remote right here with just basic controls. You can adjust the rates a little bit and of course the steering trim. This one was trimmed up out of the box so I didn't really have to adjust anything other than put it on, which is quite a fun little project. Any of these little black pieces, the door handles, the little mount on the top, all of the stickers you apply and customize by hand which is very fun and it makes this thing look perfect look at the detail on the wheels you can see the little lug nuts and everything look on the underside you can actually see a little transmission tunnel right here and the rear suspension actually has leaf springs very interesting there guys um, it comes with a bunch of little spares and of course multiple sheets of these decals so you can sticker it up however you'd like there even is little numbers on here so you can make your own personalized license plate right here <laughs> the tail lights are super realistic those don't light up but the front do uh, it has full seats inside even a little instrument cluster and steering wheel now, when they asked me to review this, I was like, oh, perfect. This is going to be my ride for Mando and the baby Yoda, the child. Um, so I bought this. These are going for super high prices on eBay because of scalpers. I think it probably cost more than the car itself. But I was unfortunate to see that although the seats and the steering wheel look super comfortable, there's not actually any leg room in here. There's a tiny little bit of leg room on the passenger side. So I was able to fit this small Superman figure. This is not modern day action figure scale. This Superman is like three and a quarter inch scale from whenever I was a kid. This was actually my own personal Superman figure when I was a young lad. Uh, so still have it. And uh, it is a little bit of a tight fit. Why would Superman need to ride around in a minivan? Well, maybe he got tired of flying around. Yeah, so this is the perfect holiday gift for that loved one that may not have been completely nice, but maybe not completely naughty. Um, I'm sure they probably want like a remote control Ferrari or a Tesla or something like that. Uh, but if they didn't get all A's, they probably deserve a minivan. This can also be a warning to them as you tell them this is what's in store for you in a career in the transportation services industry if you don't improve those grades. So parents, this is also a motivational tool uh, to get your child to succeed. Uh, I don't know why, but I had such a ton of fun driving this around my living room. Now, it is a little tall. All. So if you really drift it hard and you just go totally full forward and turn, it'll flip over just like you would. The other cool thing about this is that I really feel like you could reenact that scene from Back to the Future where the Libyans find Doc and Marty at the Twin Pines Mall. What do you think? The Libyans! Holy shit! This would be totally perfect for that. So all in all, a really great car. Um, it's on sale right now for I think 75 bucks. I'll put the link in the description below. You can get one of these things. Um, the seats, uh, they're plastic, but they actually look like they're black leather or really like pleather. They look like that black vinyl that you would find in a van like this. Uh, it has real windows that are transparent in there. You can't open the rear doors. I kind of wish you could because I would sit a whole bunch of figures in there. Boba Fett would be riding in there deep with Mando on that going on some adventures. Uh, but that's, you know, for 75 bucks, can you really 
blame it. The tires are a very nice rubber with uh, traction on there. Look at the independent leaf springs this bitch is. This is so cool, guys. Um, what do you think in the comments, guys? Are you doing any RC car shopping for Christmas? Yes, you can spend thousands on RC car technology, but why not spend that money on stuff that can fly and just spend under a hundred bucks? Look at that. It even has real mirrors on the side mirrors. So even putting these things together is such a fun thing. Thanks, guys. So instead of just installing a camera system, I'm just gonna tape this tiny little drone on top of here like this, and that'll be the way I can use these FPV goggles to drive this around the house. Now let's get a little bit of footage like this, see what it looks like. <laughs> That was a fail. Ooh, maybe I need better tape. All right, let's keep going. 